Hi, I'm Aiden, owner of Mid Atlantic Water, and welcome to Water Talk. Today, we're going to discuss the differences between the backwashing acid neutralizer and the non backwashing acid neutralizer. And I know it's confusing for a lot of you, especially when you go on the internet or have somebody come out to your house to give you an estimate uh, as to what type of system you should buy. Uh, there's a lot of different choices. If you go on our website, we've got backwashing, uh, manual backwashing, and the non uh, backwashing. And the non backwashing, uh, probably for the last uh, 17 years that we've been actually using it and installing it here in Maryland, it has been the most popular. But I'm going to go, I'm going to talk about the differences between the two, the backwashing type systems and the non backwashing type systems. First, we'll start with the backwashing. The backwashing system typically consists of a tank like this. Uh, this is a 2.5 cubic foot Vortec tank. Uh, and that size tank, we're going to have our FLEC 2510 SXT digital control valve on top. And typically, that has a seven day uh, uh, timer in it, electronic timer. And you can program that to backwash on specific uh, days of the week. Usually, for most water supplies, when we install one here in Maryland or Pennsylvania, uh, if the water's clean and iron free, we'll set it to backwash one day a week. But here's the, the downfall of the backwash type system. Uh, number one, uh, in a 2.5 cubic foot uh, setup, uh, it's going to it's going to have to backwash at about seven uh, to ten gallons per minute, and typically it has a 10 minute backwash and a 10 minute wrapper rinse. So you're going to use on average, say 140 gallons of water uh, to backwash that, and that's just going to reverse the flow. It'll go down the center distributor tube and come up through the Vortec plate, or if you get a gravel bedded system, it'll come up through the gravel bed and slowly rinse the calcite media bed and then it'll go out the half inch discharge line either outside and dump it somewhere uh, for mo uh, most of the time we set it into the uh, or run it to the septic system so you're going to have an extra 140 gallons of water going to your septic system uh, on average one day uh, a week also you've got the control valve now the control valve typically has a five-year warranty against manufacturer's defects, say on our 2510 SXT uh, digital control valve. So, I mean, you can get 10, 20, even 30 years of life out of that valve, but at some point, you're gonna have to replace pistons in the valve. You may have to replace the motor in the valve, which drives the backwash cycle and moves the pistons up and down. Um, and Or you may have to replace the uh, digital uh, control screen, which is Basically, that's a, a one-piece unit. Unplug it, take it out, put another one in. Uh, but they're, they're, you know, it's an extra ongoing cost down the road. And backwashing, um, the backwashing process itself doesn't have anything to do with raising the pH in the backwashing unit. Basically, as water passes through the vessel in the calcite media bed, it slowly dissolves and brings the water up to neutral. Once you hit neutral it stops dissolving the calcite itself. And at the same time, whether it's a backwashing or non-backwashing, one thing you always have to take into consideration is you're gonna add hardness to the water. On average, four grains of hardness, four to eight grains of hardness per gallon of water. So if you have a raw hardness of three or four, it could go up to 10 uh, to 12, maybe even 14, depending upon how acidic your water is. I mean, the lower, you know, if you're at a pH level of say 5 to 5.5, it's going to take more calcite to dissolve to bring that pH up to neutral than if you were at a 6.5 pH. And a lot of that, a lot of times people that come out at your house and give you an estimate, they really don't understand. They're just selling, trying to sell you equipment, but they're not experienced as far as servicing and installation and uh, the in-depth uh, water testing that, you know, a true water treatment professional uh, has experience in. But getting back to the backwashing system, again, the uh, the uh, cons of it is the wear and tear on the valve, and at some point you'll have to uh, replace components within the valve itself. Um, the uh, discharge amount of water, uh, if you discharge once a week, on average is about 140 gallons of water. Now, if you have iron in the water and you want to uh, eliminate the calcite bed from getting fouled, you could have to backwash, depending on the iron level in the water, you could backwash every three days, every four days, or every two days. And then you're talking hundreds of gallons of water per week in the discharge. And as 
over time, if you get some wear and tear on that valve um, and it happens to stick or you get a piece of sediment from the well and it gets caught inside one of the pistons and it causes it to stick, if it sticks in backwash, it's going to slowly run the drain and there's always the potential uh, for running the, the well dry or burning up the pump, which you don't want because that's a, you know, that could be a twelve to eighteen hundred dollar expense to have somebody come out and replace the pump itself. But typically in our own installations, the only time we really use uh, the backwashing type neutralizer, our 2510 series, um, is when somebody does have iron in the water or an extreme amount of sediment where it's too much for an inline or say a big blue type filter uh, to handle uh, before the unit itself. So the 2510 it's, it's an excellent unit. Um, the Fleck 5600 and the 1.5 cubic foot size is an excellent unit. They're the best valves that Fleck ever made and they're the two best valves, uh, filter valves in the industry. So before you uh, make a purchase, depending on whether it's backwashing or non-backwashing, you have to take all those things into consideration. And that's why we tell people to email, text, or call us if you have a question as to what type of system you, su you should purchase as far as the acid neutralizer, uh, whether it's backwashing or non-backwashing. So again, a lot of discharge as far as the water goes. Wear and tear uh, on the valve. You have to have a, a place to run the drain tube for the discharge. And a lot of times if your basement's already finished off, that's going to be extremely difficult to do without cutting out a bunch of drywall and running it to a, a sanitary tub or a vertical uh, drain line or a uh, an existing uh, washing machine standpipe, which you know we try to do. We try to run it to that if it's already existing and it's on the same floor itself. So again, and you need electric. You don't have to plug this in because it needs power uh, to run the motor for the backwash and for the uh, the uh, display screen as well. So you have to take all that into consideration uh, when looking at the backwashing type system. And it costs more than the non-backwashing. You're talking you know, two to four hundred dollars more if you're having a retailer come out. I mean, here in Maryland, some of the retailers around here charge upwards of twenty-eight hundred dollars for a single tank neutralizer, backwashing type, installed, and it's nothing fancy. It's, it's just a basic backwashing type neutralizer. So there. So if you have any questions on the on the Plex 2510, send us a, shoot us an email at support at net or a text or just pick up the phone and give us a call. Email is probably the best way because during the week we're extremely busy. We do service calls, installations, and we're on the road Monday through Friday. Uh, so let's get to the uh, the uh, non-backwashing type system. And that, and this you'll see, uh, we talk about this a lot. We started using these years ago uh, here in Maryland because we had a we had a drought situation one summer, and. Uh, they, people started asking, do you have a system that doesn't backwash because I'm afraid my well is going to run dry. And that summer alone here in, in Maryland, and just in our county, we had over 300 some wells run dry and people had to have them uh, re-drilled or they had a pool supply company come out, a water supply company, and put tanks, two 1,500 gallon tanks right by the well, fill those with water and run a line to the well to keep feeding the well so they could use the well on their pump. Uh, for showers, bathing, running dishwasher, that type of thing until, until the drought subsided. So this became extremely popular back then. And we started actually using these, a, a basic version, not the advanced version that we have now, probably 17, 18 uh, years ago, uh, just because it was less expensive, it was affordable for, for most families, um, it didn't require a lot for installation. You have an inlet and an outlet. You don't have to have electric, you don't need a drain, and there's no discharge. And we install it as an upflow. So as the water comes in, it comes in on the upflow inlet side, which is this side on the, on the left, if you're looking at the unit from the front, goes down the center tube, comes up through the vortex or gravel bed, depending upon which type you have, and it eliminates channeling and solidification of the media bed. And that occurs every time you use water, as we're the backwashing, and on average it only does it once a week and by then if you have channeling the backwash isn't strong enough to eliminate that channeling or if you get areas of the bed that start to solidify in the backwashing it's not going to be able to to break that apart and you're going to have to take the cap off or the valve off take a old broom handle or a metal pipe 
and stir it up and, and eliminate that, uh, those channeling spots in the unit itself. So with the backwashing, uh, not backwashing type system uh, installed as an upflow, like I said, every time you use water, your, especially with the Vortec, it goes down the center tube and the Vortec, it comes up uh, through the Vortec plate in circular motion. So you never have channeling and typically you never have solidification of the media bed, even if you're using a, a calcite Corosex or Flomag mixture to boost the pH. And like I said, it's easy to install. You have an inlet and an outlet, not much more difficult than putting in a hot water heater. Uh, you can put it uh, right next to the well tank. Uh, this is a 13 uh, inch in diameter. Tank's 54 inches in height. I'm six foot one, so it's a pretty big tank. Holds five 50 pound bags of calcite, uh, so it gives you plenty of contact time. Uh, water against the media to make sure that pH stays up while you're running a shower, doing a lot of laundry, or running a dishwasher, or using water outside. Me, we, we use the water outside. I never bypass the system. I use soft water to water the plants, uh, wash the cars, uh, basically uh, everything outside. And the, the soft water has no effect on plants or vegetables. They thrive, they grow like crazy. And I've been doing that for 25 years that I've been in, in this uh, industry. So again, with the non-backwashing type system, doesn't need a drain, doesn't need electric, there's no water wasted, easy to install. If you don't have access to a drain, it's the way to go. Now, if you do have sediment in the water and you're concerned about that, typically we recommend putting a, an inline filter before. And you can either order those from us online or you can, order, you can pick one off at Lowe's or Home Depot. Most Walmarts have a small plumbing section and they have uh, some inline filters and they're good filters and they're probably uh, a lot less expensive than most anything you can find uh, on the internet. It's not going to hurt my feelings if you buy it from somebody else. Um, you know, but like I said, when you're looking at any type of system, whether you buy it from me or another company, but make sure that company um, has experienced installers that you can talk to about installation and the correct type of system that you have because there's a lot of people now, especially on Amazon, that are just selling equipment that have never been out on a job site, never done an installation, never done service. I get calls all the time, people asking me for help. You know, they bought a system from somebody else, but they can't get any tech support. There's no phone number to call, just an email address, and they never get a response. So we're seven days a week, we're helping people with answering questions about installation, about servicing it, troubleshooting it, helping them, you know, fix an old system or possibly upgrade with a, to a new system and based on their water usage, pH level, pH level, and the number of people in the home and possibly any outside water usage. That's how you have to size uh, the type of system that you're gonna need uh, to properly treat the water in your household. So again, with the non-backwashing type system, easy to install, no drain, no electric. Uh, you can place it just about uh, anywhere within close proximity uh, to your well tank. Um, if, if you're down south and you don't have basements and it's crawl spaces and you have a dirt floor, you can dig a couple feet down, slide this in, then add your calcite to it. But we've done that for customers uh, on Maryland's Eastern Shore, a lot of the houses uh, because of flooding potential, uh, they just have a dirt crawl space and the well tanks under the house and typically you just, you know, dig a, a one foot by one foot square hole about a foot to two feet deep. You can plop that down in there. You can do it with the back washing system too and uh, put your calcite in and uh, that's why we recommend going with a bigger tank in those situations because you uh, you won't have to worry about servicing as much. And with these, like this non-back washing, 2.5 cubic foot, on average, and another benefit to the larger, you always wanna go bigger in the water treatment industry. Um, with a larger 2.5 cubic foot unit, you're not gonna to have to add calcite as often. You know, back before we had access to the bigger units, we always used the 1.5 type systems. We'd have to go out and service it for local customers every six months on average. Uh, now with the larger units, it could be 18, it could be 24 months before you actually had to add 50 pounds of a calcite to it. And another benefit with all of our units, these almond type 
uh, translucent, semi-translucent systems or tanks, we can uh, I can take a bright LCD mag light or work light and turn the light out in the room, hold the light up to the back of the unit and just start at the top and kind of move it down and I can see it'll light the inside of the tank up and I can see where the, the level of media is. So if it starts getting to a point where say it's halfway empty, I know it's going to need about 50 pounds or a, a half a cubic foot bag of the calcite and then you know that tells you uh, how much you're going to need and you know you can shut the water off, uh, run a faucet to drain the pressure, take your cap off, siphon out a 50 gallon or 50 gallon, 5 gallon bucket of water and you're good to go. Put your funnel in, add your calcite, bring it up to about 12 inches from 10-12 inches from the top and you're good for the next 18 to 24 months. But anyway, there are the differences between the two neutralizers. It's, it's, it's not an immense difference uh, other than the installation. The performance is the same. The, whether you have backwashing or non-backwashing, it raises the pH the same way. The back, like I said, backwashing doesn't change the performance of uh, raising the pH and non-backwashing doesn't change the performance. Now you do get a little better contact time using a non-backwashing as an upflow because it goes down through the center tube and it comes up through the bed and it's distributed by the Vortec plate or even the basket in a gravel bedded unit more evenly than when it, with a backwashing type system it comes into the valve and just comes down through the bed and it will seek its least water will seek its least path of resistance and that's with the backwashing type unit because the water does come in from the top you will get channeling in the bed and that's why I said the backwashing because the channeling will be up here backwashing starts at the bottom and by the time the water flow gets here it's weakened because you only have that 40 uh, to 50 pounds or maybe 60 pounds of pressure coming out of your well tank and it's not going to lift the calcite bed. I don't care what anybody tells you you would have to uh, modify the system in order for that to occur and it's it's just not feasible you know unless you have a deep pockets to do it so basically um, you will have to remove the, the head on the backwashing system like I said before and stir that up with a, a pole to eliminate the channeling because if you start getting a lot of channeling in it it makes the bed less uh, efficient as far as contact time goes and that's probably why one of the main reasons that the non backwashing now you know our backwashing system 2510 2.5 averages about 995 shipped where this average is about 595 shipped to 695 depending on what kind of price we're getting from our manufacturer so right there that's one of the main reasons that people tend to go with the non backwashing right off the bat is because it's it's much more affordable than a backwashing type system and number 2 it's much easier to install and the average uh, homeowner can do it themselves and, and you don't have to have a lot of uh, skill as far as plumbing goes i mean it's there's youtube has so many videos now about installation doing plumbing and that type of thing and you can always call us if you have questions about installation what type of piping uh, to use what type of connections to use etc so there are the two difference between the two i hope that helps clarify things a little bit if you need help or have questions just shoot us an email at support at midatlanticwater.net that's the, the best way to uh, to get a hold of us uh, and we usually respond within you know 24 hours uh, from the time we get that email um, if you need to you can call 800-460-5810 leave a message if we don't answer we usually get back within in 24 hours like I said Monday through Friday we're on on the road from 8 till 6 or so um, doing service calls and uh, installations other than that like I said we'll get back to you as soon as we can so questions always contact us if you're not unsure what you need before you buy uh, any type of system whether it's the acid neutralizers iron filters uh, water softeners we'll be up we'll be doing some upcoming videos about uh, iron filters because that's probably other than acidity that's probably another big issue uh, that we tackle uh, iron and sulfur we have an excellent iron and a combination iron and sulfur filter that works better than anything I've ever used in the 25 years I've been doing that. But that's another video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said, questions, give us a call or send us an email. Other than that, you have a great day.